Good morning or good afternoon, good evening to everybody depending on where you are. Welcome to Cactus Caffeine. My name is Anna. In this channel, I share with you my hobby of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of my favorite beverage, coffee. Alright, so I just came back from a one-week vacation from Southern California. And yes, I left all my cactus for one week. Nobody came to uh, look after them or to water them. And they are doing very good. That's one thing I like about cactus. You know, you can leave them for a week, a month, and they are still fine. So you don't have to worry. So I was away for a week and all these are dry. So even though um, I left them here, I had my greenhouse door open. I did not have a heater on. I was afraid to leave a heater in here. Well, there's nobody in the house. So I chose not to turn on the heater. So I just left the greenhouse door open and um, prayed for the best. <laughs> but my thermometer um it registered a high of 80 degrees fahrenheit throughout the week and a low of 38 degrees fahrenheit um during the night in that one week time that i was away so anyway they are all well and when i left or before i left i knew some of them are in bud but i was surprised at what a week can a week of difference is and look at that buds on this one when i left these were tiny but look at how much they grew and this is what i want to show you so this is a stenocactus multicostatus i'm going to flash the name on the screen so i when i left this was just a tiny bud so i wasn't expecting it to open yet and i was afraid that last night when we came home they were half closed so i thought i missed the flowers but fortunately this morning they reopened so i have three flowers today there are two more buds or three more buds underneath that hasn't opened so um i wanted to film it right now while i can so just to make sure i don't miss out on the flowers so that is pretty and then this one i um showed this on instagram one week ago and i cannot believe that the flowers are still open i mean at night they close a little bit but then they reopen in the morning. So this is thank you to uh, Lucy and Sass Cactus from Instagram who gave me the ID on this one. So Parodia Pensilata. And this was the cactus that was given to me by my friend here in Vegas, Nanny. So Nanny, look, it is still in flower. So pretty. And then this one. This is a Mamillaria senilis or Mamilopsis senilis. This one, look, it is almost ready to open. Maybe tomorrow that one will be fully open. But it was funny because before we went to California, the bud was already big. And I was actually contemplating on bringing this, this cactus along with me to the trip just so i do not miss out on the bloom but i decided not to because i remember last year when this flowered the flowers actually stayed open for like five six days and so i know by the time i get back i'd still see its flower but then it hasn't opened this is the one that opened um, unexpectedly and it opened up fast so anyway maybe when this blooms or opens in the next few days I will try to insert a picture in this video 
and so um it is still february well almost the end of february as i'm filming this video i haven't given this guys any deep watering some of them i did give some watering like a sip of water when i see that they were wrinkling or shriveling too fast too soon like this one here i did give it uh, water like two or three times during the winter because it was shriveling too fast so i did give that a little sip of water so some of them did get a little little bit sip little sip of water but most of them remain dry all throughout the winter now now that i see that a lot of them are already in bud um i think i will now give them their first really deep deep watering for the season so even though it's still february guys it is warmer than usual so see that those are buds as well that's an echinopsis so since a lot of them have been forming buds i think i will now give these guys their first drink of deep watering with fertilizer with tomato fertilizer um of the year so now i am going to be mixing my fertilizer in water this is my tomato fertilizer now this will encourage flowering so if you have questions on this uh, guys on this fertilizer i would suggest you watch first my video on how to make a cactus bloom abundantly because in that video i discussed this a little bit more in detail okay and yeah i got a lot of questions no it doesn't have to be exactly the same brand i got this uh i got this one four five years ago so it's been a while guys i ordered this through amazon but i have been told that this is not available anymore in the u.s it is from the uk i believe so it doesn't have to be this brand it can be any brand of tomato fertilizer as long as it has a low nitrogen content okay and also if you check the description box below i did place uh some suggested other brands of tomato fertilizer that you can use now i prefer using the liquid type over the slow release granules because i want to be able to control when my, fer my when my cactus will get fertilized So I will just transfer this in my watering can to make it easier to pour over the pots. And by the way, when I placed the fertilizer in water, I only used half the dose dosage that was recommended in the bottle. So the recommendation was 10, oh, 20 milliliters per gallon, but I used half, so I only placed 10 milliliters per gallon so if you use it on your tomato you follow the <laughs> you follow the uh, bottles or the uh the description in the bottle but since i'm using it on fertilizer and fertil uh, on cactus i mean and cactus doesn't really need that much fertilizer i only use half the strength that was recommended in the bottle all right and then i will just be pouring this in my cactus pots just like so so i do this on the first two deep waterings of the season so i apply it twice the first two times i water during the season and then after that you know i just use regular water Okay, there you go and also I just use this on my cactus that are flowering you know but for my other cactus like the columnars that I don't expect to flower until they get bigger 
I save my tomato fertilizer and I just use a regular cactus or succulent fertilizer for those types. So I only use this on the ones that I expect to flower already. So I'll give this one um, some watering as well. So as you can see, my soil is very, very dry. So it takes a while before the water sips through it. Okay, I see it dripping now underneath. Alright, so if you like this video guys, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I also appreciate all my new subscribers and those of you who have been sending me messages on um, YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. And those who are also sending pictures of their cactus. You know guys, I like, uh, send me your pictures. I like uh, seeing what other people have as well. And um, seeing especially the flowers on your cactus. And send them to me because I do make shout outs through pictures. So I will feature your cactus on my subscriber spotlight videos. So I am not recommending everyone to start watering or giving your cactus fertilizer right now because it really depends on the weather where you are located. Normally, or last year, I did do this uh, sometime late March, I think, when I first applied the fertilizer. But now I am doing it quite early in February, late February, because as you can see, a lot of them have been in bud early. So I wish I could have done this earlier, like before the buds formed. But then um, I decided that, you know, even though it's February, I'll do it now. So some of them are still forming. So hopefully this will make it produce even more buds but it yeah it depends on where you are located i know some of you guys still have snow at this time of the year and some of you have been ha having a warm weather like i said i just got back from southern california and i cannot believe that it is already 80 degrees over there and i have seen a lot of cactus guys that are in bud See, so it really depends. All I can say is um, I would suggest you do this on the very first deep watering that you are going to give your cactus right after winter. So see, those are buds as well forming. So I will continue watering all the pots that I have here inside my greenhouse for today. So this will be keeping me busy for the rest of the day. And um, I will only be watering the cactus that are inside my greenhouse because um, it is still technically winter. So we might still have freezing nights ahead, but I am already giving these guys water the on, only the ones that are inside my greenhouse because i have a heater here in the greenhouse so just in case we still get the freezing temperatures in the coming days but i'm keeping my fingers crossed that we do not just in case i have a heater so i can control the temperatures the temperature inside the greenhouse but for my plants that are outside, I am not giving them fertilizer or deep watering yet. And I do not see any buds, guys, on the plants that I have outside my greenhouse because it is still very cold during the night. So I am only giving a deep watering for those that are inside my greenhouse. Okay, so thank you guys for joining me today in um, my first deep watering with fertilizer for the year 2020 so until my next video guys bye and cheers